Now nobody likes a low res image, so how can we convert it into a high resolution image and get rid of that pixelated look? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna talk about in this tutorial. Hello friends, my name is Brendan from BeWillCreative.com and previously on this channel I talked about three really easy ways to resize images in Photoshop and a bunch of you guys had told me that okay we understand how to make our photos bigger but how can we make a low resolution photo become a high resolution photo because no matter how much scaling you do even if you're using a smart object it's only going to maintain the original image resolution that you started with so when you have a photo like we have here that's pixelated and just doesn't look very good we need to do some different different adjustments to fix this problem. So let's hop into Photoshop and talk about exactly what they are. Now before we do anything, we need to go and make sure that something is enabled within our preferences. So going up to Photoshop, down here to Preferences, and then down here to Technology Previews. Within this panel here, we wanna make sure that Enable Preserve Details 2.0 is checked off. This is gonna be helpful for us later on when we go and rescale our image. With that checked off, we'll click OK. Now let's go and increase the resolution of this photo by going up to image and down here to image size. What this will do is allows us to control the resolution of this particular image. Now in this image size panel, the first thing you want to make sure of is that your dimensions are set to pixels. So then you're not accidentally looking at centimeters or inches or something that's totally different. So make sure pixels are set for your dimensions in all of these settings. Now what we want to do is increase this resolution until the longest edge of our image is at least 3000 pixels. So in this case, our longest edge is the height since it's a vertical photo. So to start things off, I'll go to my resolution and set this to 300 and see where that gets me. So since the height's only 2000, let's increase it a little bit more. Let's try 500. That puts me just over 3000, making it a good resolution for this particular image. Now what increasing the resolution does is essentially gives the photo more room to display the information. So all of those pixels end up getting broken up into smaller pixels, making the photo look a little bit more smooth and less low res than what we had before. Now with all that done, make sure that the resample option is checked off and we're going to want to select this preserve details 2.0 now if you didn't go and enable this setting earlier then you will not see it here so that's why it's important to do so so if you skipped out on that step make sure to go back and do that before you continue on so preserve detail 2.0 and now let's go and zoom out just a little bit to see what's going on here so already just looking at her eyes here, it's already such a big difference than what we had before. If I go back to the 72 resolution that we started with, zoom in all the way to her eyes, you can see how pixelated and not very nice that was. Going back to the 500 resolution, and we now have a much cleaner looking image than what we started with. Now as for the reduced noise slider, if I bring this down, that's gonna make our photo look a little bit more sharp and not as smooth. But if I go all the way up, it's gonna almost look too smooth and not realistic. So you got to find some kind of balance. In this case, I'll leave it probably around 50 just because I still get a little bit of noise in there that makes textures look realistic while smoothing things out so the image still looks pretty good. Now with all of this done, just click OK to commit to those changes. Now your photo is going to be super zoomed in because you just increased the resolution and the size of your entire photo. But zooming out, we now have a much better resolution image. If I go and check out the details up close, you can see how her face is no longer pixelated like it was before. Now at this point, you might be happy with the adjustments that you've done so far, but there's one last thing that you can do to apply a final sharpening effect to the entire photo, and that's with a high pass filter. So zooming out here, I'm going to first duplicate this image layer. So clicking on that layer, pressing Command or Control J to duplicate it, making sure that duplicated layer is selected. We'll go up here to Filter, down here to Other, and then High Pass. As for the radius, you want to make sure that you set it to an amount that you can see a fair bit of details throughout the image. Usually you wouldn't apply this strong of a high pass filter onto a photo, but since this image is already a little bit blurry, we can get away with a higher radius value. So something like this is okay for this image and I'll click OK. Now obviously our photo is gray, so we want to get rid of that, but still keep the sharpening adjustment that we just created. So with that high pass layer selected, we'll change the layer blending mode from normal down here to overlay. Now what that's gonna do is apply that sharpening onto our photo while getting rid of all that gray. Now if I zoom in, you can see how things look a little bit sharper. Turning that layer on and off, you can see the big difference that that makes. Now in this case, it seems to be a little bit too strong, so we can just refine that by going to the fill option and then dragging down like so until you're happy with the amount. So in this case, 40% seems like a good number for me. So turning that on and off, you can see how it just 
makes things pop a little bit more than what they did before. So let's go and compare the before and after and bring in our original low res photo and compare it to this new image with all of our adjustments made. So as you can see, I've brought in my original low res photo into Photoshop here and that's what we're looking at right now. But if I go and turn that layer off, look at how much better our image looks. This is the low res and now the high res, low res, high res. You start to get the idea. So essentially what we've done is taken all of that pixelated area and then made the image larger with a higher resolution so that those pixels are then broken up into smaller areas, making them less noticeable in the photo. Then adding a high pass filter into the mix, we're able to sharpen some of those details and bring them to life so that they don't look too flat and unrealistic. So now with all of those adjustments, you're left with a high res photo from a low res image all done with Photoshop. Now that you know how to convert a low res photo into a high res photo, you might want to scale your images into a larger canvas. And that's exactly what I talk about in this other video that you can find up in the corner right now. Anyways guys, that's all I have for you for today. Again, my name's Brendan from bewillcreative.com and I'll catch you back here next time for another new tutorial. See you then.